Hi everyone, this side Vijay Kumar and you are watching Average Classmate YouTube channel. I'm back with one more interesting and informative topic today. Today we are going to see a practical interview question of Power BI. Power BI is a business intelligence and data visualization tool developed by Microsoft. It allows users to connect various data sources, transform and clean the data, create interactive visuals and share them with others. So without further ado, let's open our source data. So this is the Excel file, which is our source data. This workbook has two sheets, raw data and pricing. If I go in pricing sheet, language type, we have three columns, request type, language type, rate per unit. And in raw data sheets, we have data like completion date, request type. We have many different type of request. Date of received. This field can be considered as a request when we received. With this data sets, we are going to work and let's see what all questions. Let me close this file. And let's see what all five questions we are going to solve today based on this data set. Okay, so the first of all, we have to clean up that row data sheet that has some blank rows and columns. Second thing, create a visual providing request received by month. So request received by month, we need to create a visual. The third question is calculate turnaround time by DAX. So we need to create a DAX to calculate this stat. The fourth question, create visual providing average stat by month along with trend line. And the last question, using the request type pricing sheet, create visual providing monthly total cost incurred by contract type and language. So let's, so these all five questions we are going to solve today. So let me just minimize it and let's open our Power BI. And first of all, we will import that Excel workbook into Power BI. We are into that folder where our source data is located. Click here, click open. Now, in a couple of seconds, our source data will get imported into Power BI. Now the connection has been established. We can import these two sheets, pricing and raw data. Click transform data. From now, our first question was to clean row data sheets, which has some blank rows and column. So if you see here, we have some blank rows. So I can see this entire row is blank for all the columns. So which means if I select the cell and right click here and from text filter, if I say does not equal to, it is going to exclude that blank row from my data sets. If I go towards down and see, it looks nice to me now. So rows we have cleaned. Now let's go towards right side. We have two columns. These two columns also we need to clean. So let's select first column, press control key and select the second column, which we want to delete. Now right click and say remove columns. Now I have deleted columns. So our first question is solved. If you see here, that's what it was written. Clean up the row data any blank rows and columns. So I have done that. We can say here done. The second column, create visuals providing requests received by month. So first of all, we will now close and apply. Let's minimize it. The changes which we did there, that is those changes are going to apply here. Okay, so seems we are good to go. So the very first question we are going to solve now. So let's create our very first visual. So let me select this one clustered column chart. So the first question was we need to create visuals which will provide the request received by month. So from which table we can create that visual? We can create that visual from raw data. Let's open this from here and see we have uh, date of receipt, which I told you that this column can be considered as when the request was received. So let's click here. 
and how many requests we received we can take from here request type so if i go towards down in y axis i will put request type drag and drop here let me just increase the width now you can see count of request type by year quarter month and day but the question was only by month so what we will do we will go here and close these we will only keep month now with this visuals now we are able to show that what all types of requests received by month let's add data labels we need to go in format section and go in the end here we see data labels and turn it on from here so now we have data labels since our data labels are on so we don't require these y-axis values now so let's go towards upside and turn it off from here now this graph is ready now let's move to our third question so this one is also done the third question says calculate turnaround time by tax this is a bit tricky out of these five questions the third question is one of my favorite question because here interviewer wants to check your skills of tax now to solve this question using dex let's go ahead and create a new table so i will go in modeling tab new table and the name i'm going to give calendar calendar tab table is the name of my table and the function i'm going to use is calendar my start date is going to be min minimum of row data column date of received bracket close comma end date is going to be maximum of row data column date of received what it means i am taking the minimum date as my start date of this calendar table and the maximum date of date of received column as my end date of this calendar table so let's hit enter this way if i go and show you the table my table got created which is starting from december 7 and ending 15th march 2021 perfect now i need two more columns in it let's go ahead and insert one column first so the column name i'm going to give day so i'm going to fetch day from this date column and day name i'm going to show in this column for that i need to use format function format function value is going to be date comma and the format is going to be four times d so that i can get day name monday tuesday wednesday so i got the day name now next column is going to be day type like is it a weekend or weekday so let's go ahead and insert one more column this time the column name is going to be day type equal to and the function I'm going to use if packet start check day equal to Saturday or day is equal to Sunday comma if yes then show me and give me weekend else give me weekdays close bracket okay now our table is ready we just need to enable one more functionality so that this table can be used inside other tables For that i will go in table tools from here i will select this option mark as date table and here i will select the column date and click ok now is the time to create dex and use this table there so let's go ahead and create dex let's right click new major create dex the name i'm going to give is that 
and here I'm going to use function calculate and inside the calculate function first of all rows count count rows function and the table name is going to be calendar table bracket close comma filter function so under filter function all table name again going to be calendar table close bracket comma filter expression i'm going to use max row data date of receipt close bracket less than equal to my date column of calendar table so let's write calendar and take this one and again max function row data this time this would be my column completion date greater than equal to same calendar table date column close bracket close bracket hit enter so this way we have created dax to calculate tat you can see here let's go ahead and create a table and inside the table i'm going to take this date okay i see here we have a problem with this column we will clean it in couple of seconds we will see if it is a date column or do we need to change the date type for this column we will see but let's select this one also okay and we don't need these hierarchies let's go ahead and click from here this seems a date column but this does not because here we have month day and year and here we have day month and years these two columns are in different format in india we follow this format so this got auto corrected and we have this format in our source data which we, we will correct in couple of minutes so now if i go and drag that tat here i don't think this is going to give me the answer it is not working the reason we need to correct that source first so let's go in home tab transform data transform data from here and from here i'm going to make changes to this column completion date so if i go here and select the date from here i don't think it is going to work no it is not working so i need to cross this step from here so the right way to change this date is we need to go here and instead of selecting from here let's go and use the last option using locale and from here we will change the date format and instead of data type text i am going to take data type date and time and english india i would change to english us and now hit ok now seems my column is ready now but let me change the date type let's go here and select date as a date type now let's go close and apply perfect our function is working perfectly fine now see we have a proper date this is also the date now the difference between this and this is called tat so here we are getting 29 and our function our dex is working really fine so we can say this is also done these two questions are pretty simple and i want you to solve these two questions because here we have already created a dex for that and in the second question we just need to create a relationship and if you go here in our source data we do have a column uh, request type which is common in pricing table and in row data table also so i believe you can simply go ahead and create relationship and solve this problem so i want you to solve these two questions 
are simple and i'll wait for your response so that's all from my side thank you very much उम्मीद है आप लोगों को मजा आया होगा अगर आपको कुछ नया सीखने को मिला है तो वीडियो को लाइक जरूर कीजिएगा शेयर कीजिएगा उनके साथ जो करियर में ग्रोथ चाहते हैं और मेहनत से नहीं घबराते हैं और हाँ अगर ये हमारी पहली मुलाकात है तो नीचे दिए हुए सब्सक्राइब बटन पर जोर से हिट कीजिए आपसे बहुत जल्द मुलाकात होगी विद वन मोर इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इंफॉर्मेटिव वीडियो के साथ टिल देन कीप स्माइलिंग एंड हैप्पी लर्निंग